Should you accept all cookies? You might think, am I about to get a virus now? What personal information do they have of mine? Do they have my search history now? Where do these cookies even go on my computer? And how do I block them? My name's Dale, and I've been teaching people how to build websites with this channel since 2018. And I'm gonna answer all of that. Can you get a virus from accepting cookies on a shady website? Despite its sweet name, a cookie is just a text file that a website stores on your browser. And it does things like remembering your login info for that site, or updating your shopping cart if you click off the site and come back, or tracking your browsing for personalized ads. But they're not .exe files, meaning they can't install anything. They're just text files. So no, you will not get a virus for accepting cookies, even if the website is sketchy as But this doesn't mean that they're all harmless. Where do cookies go on your computer? Cookies actually get tucked away into a deep rabbit hole of folders that's connected to your web browser, kind of like Silence of the Lambs. It's usually something like library, slash application support, slash Google, slash Chrome, slash default, slash cookies. It puts the lotion on the skin. Basically somewhere that you'll never find it unless you go looking for it. Each cookie is like a digital memory for each site that you visit, and you'd be surprised how much personal information they can track. What happens when you accept all cookies? Clicking accept all basically tells a website, hey, feel free to track me, collect my data, and share it with your advertising partners. This can include things like your IP address, your browsing history and behavior, even across multiple websites, your location, device type, screen size, and even your purchase history. So while it doesn't mean that an FBI agent is suddenly watching you after accepting all, marketing companies definitely are. You're basically allowing yourself to become a data pig, fattened up by ads until you're ready for a cash out. <laughs> if you've ever wondered why that air fryer followed you across multiple websites for a week, that's cookies at work. Does this mean all cookies are bad? Not at all. There are two main types of cookies. First party cookies, which are from the site that you're visiting. They help with things like login, shopping cart, and personalizing your experience. And then you have third party cookies. These are the ones from advertisers, trackers, and other sites. These are the creepy ones that are watching you jump from Amazon to Pinterest to Facebook. So when you click accept all, you're usually accepting both. And this is where privacy concerns come in. How do I take control over cookies? Here's how to protect yourself without nuking your online experience. If it's offered, you can click customize or settings instead of accept all. And this way you can choose what to allow for specific sites. You can also block third-party cookies in your browser settings. In Chrome, it's under privacy and security. This is nice because some companies won't even give you the option to accept cookies. They just do it automatically and they only give you the option to opt out, which you have to go and find. You companies know who you are, shame on you. You can delete cookies regularly if you're privacy sensitive, but this will sign you out of anything you've logged into recently. You can just select which cookies you wanna delete and for how far back that you wanna delete them. Or you can use browsers like Firefox or Brave that offer better default protections than Chrome. You're allowed to want convenience and privacy. The trick is saying no to the extra stuff. So should you accept all cookies? Well, if you don't mind the digital eyes watching you and you want the most tailored specific ads in existence, then sure. But my answer is no, not blindly. I personally only accept cookies on sites that I don't mind serving me up ads, but you're not gonna get a virus or have your identity stolen from hitting accept all. If this helped clear things up, please like this video or subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. And let me know in the comments, what's the weirdest ad you've ever received after accepting all cookies?